What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Joe here from Jojo Coco Studio. I hope you guys are staying safe right now due to the current situation. It's really crazy what's going on in the world. So of course many people are working from home, including me. And uh, in today's video, I am going to be talking about my desk setup and also cleaning it up as well and getting it more tidy, more organized so that I can be a lot more efficient and more productive. So let's check it out right now. Uh, let's start off with the bottom first. We have the cable management. It's really messy right now. It's horrendous uh, because I've been like unplugging and plugging many things on the table. And then we have obviously dual monitors, one from my company and my laptop from my company as well. I have to tell you there's a big problem whenever I have switched from my laptop to my computer. I have to remove this HDMI from the laptop and then plug it onto my personal rig which is kind of kind of inconvenient but of course it's not like the end of the world but like but like i have a good solution to fix that and then do you see the limited space for the mouse as you can see here there's not much space for the mouse so obviously whenever i work or whenever i game this is all i have so i don't have that much space and last but not least we have a shelf that will be installed right on top of the desk setup so i hope that really tidy things up because i can actually put stuff on the shelf for example my microphone if i don't use the microphone i'll put it on the shelf and just basically things that if i don't use that often i'll just you know put it on the shelf so that things will look a lot more tidier so let's get on with this and let's start to clean this desk setup organize thing install the shelf, cable manage, and uh, maybe find a good solution to, you know, make things a lot more minimalistic. All right, let's get started. So after an hour, I have finally cleaned my setup and installed the IKEA wall shelf. The cable management rack underneath the table is IKEA's Signum rack, which as you can see, a power extension cord is attached using two Velcros. Speaking of Velcros, it really picks up dust over time, therefore I decided to shorten the cables without Velcros or zip ties like this. Not sure what this method is called, but it's quite easy to shorten the cables like so. So since we have two computer systems and one monitor, I needed an HDMI switcher. The purpose of the HDMI switcher is just to switch between one HDMI to another. Simple as that, right? But seriously, it's really convenient as I no longer have to move the HDMI cable around anymore. Lastly, as you probably noticed, I got rid of the other monitor and the docking system as it was taking up quite a lot of my mouse space. Sometimes having less is having more. I am really a huge fan of hiding my keyboard and my mouse. As you can see, I'm using the Belkin laptop stand. Same as the main monitor, I have this really cool wooden monitor stand where I can hide my mechanical keyboard and mouse also. 
Fortunately, I am rocking with the Lian Li case, a custom water-cooled PC. The build consists of i7-8700K with 32GB of T-Force RGB RAMs and an RTX 2080 by MSI. All the custom water cool parts are by Bits Power, and these flashy nice custom cables are by Cable Mod. Next to the PC we have a standard Dell 24 inch IPS monitor and I know it is not the greatest and the latest but it gets the job done. And I'm still able to game at 60 hertz. Right below the monitor we have a Bluetooth Bose speakers. These speakers are amazing for their size and since I have limited space for speakers, this is the best as it fits snugly right underneath the monitor with quality sound. Moving on to the keyboard and mouse, I have the Razer Tournament Edition Chroma V2 keyboard and I have actually been using these for a few years now. For productivity mouse and keyboard, I am using the Rapu keyboard and this is a great choice as it is really compact and thin on the hands while typing. As for the mouse, this is my go-to mouse for productivity. I highly recommend this mouse as it is very affordable and the ergonomics feel of the mouse is great on the hands. For my ear audio and voice, I know it's quite sad I am actually using my old Apple ear pods as my Sennheiser ear cups fell apart. But fortunately, my Rode microphone can make up to it as the Rode microphone really deliver high quality voice sounds as you can hear it right now. I don't really have much complaint to my setup as everything is working just fine. I guess if I was to upgrade a few things, I would look for a new monitor as my RTX 2080 deserve more output. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you do like it, give it a thumbs up and comment your recommendation for my setup. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe as I will be releasing more tech related videos in the near future. Thanks very much, everybody, and I hope you guys to see you in the next one. See you.